do you feel like you have that opportunity because your parents, like, I don't even know how to ask the question, but I feel like, you know, it's every parent's dream that they can provide a life for their children that's better than their own. Do you feel like your parents didn't go to college because they were struggling to have a life that was better than their parents? Yeah, I think that's definitely it. I think in their eyes, they've, they're successful because they didn't, I mean, they're nowhere near what they had growing up. Um, to them, stability is a paying job, nine to five job, paying their bills on time, having a car, having somewhere to sleep in, you know, having food on the table. It doesn't matter if it's the most expensive or least expensive. Um, neither of them had that type of stability. So for them, that's the success. And I think they expected that same type of success for my brother and I to have stability. And we did. But for me, my success is to grow from where they reached. Um, and so in that sense, it's, it's education. And like so many in my family, no one, I mean, there's, very little of us that have completed at least a high school a diploma that, you know, um, to reach that, that was a big success. And now it's college. I want, I want to break that mold. Like, I feel like my, my younger family members, like, they need to see that it's totally doable and not because we come from low income and not because we're certain you know, ethnicity, that doesn't mean that we're stereotyped and to that sap story, you know, like, they've fallen into those categories, young mothers, you know, um, high school dropouts, working at minimum wage, if that, you know, like, I feel like there's more to life than what we've been expected to be at, and I think it starts with college, it starts with education. Do you feel like your parents are proud of you, or they envy you, or based on kind of that your drive is to kind of go further than where they are? I don't think they understand the drive. I think, I mean, they're proud of where, how far I've come, because in a sense I've had to do this struggle on my own, you know, like for them to, you know, fill out financial aid you know, work paper, that was a big ordeal because they understood maybe half of the questions on there. You know, that's not something they went through. The the balance of time, of managing your, your personal life, your home life, your school life, your work life, it's not something that they were accustomed to. And so I don't think they're envious. I just don't think they understand. And when I came to points where I was you know, done with school where I said, I can't do this. They didn't support me, but they didn't encourage me to look the other way either. You know, it was, it was what you do is what you do. And because they didn't, they don't understand. They don't understand how important for me it is to get a college education and, and to have that degree in my back pocket. Because for me, that's, it's a luxury. It's a privilege, you know, um, if, if a college education was so easy to get, everyone would have one. But, you know, not everybody does. And I feel like that's that's my struggle, but that's that's my drive. That one day, eventually, I'll have that college degree, and I'll be able to hand it to my mother and say, here, frame this. Instead of the high school tassel she has, you know, on her car. <laughs> little that's cool. You know, that was my gift to them, my education. So, and I still hold that, like, I get so emotional because, like, I've worked so hard to come to a point where I want to go to school because I've loved school all along, but it's just, like, I've always made it about the other people around me. And for the first time in my life, it's not about people around me. It's about me. I wish there were more students like you in my classes at the U of A, like... Like, how you were talking about privilege. Like, I feel like there is such an apathy in, like, my freshman and sophomore level classes. Because I feel like these kids, yeah, I don't know. 
it's expected of them to go to college and a lot of them like are just going for a business degree because that's what everybody else is doing or because their parents want them to go or because they don't know what else to do with themselves besides being in college and I feel like like I miss like being around people that are self-motivated and I miss being around people that take pride in their work and like it is really hard to understand that like you have a drive and a motivation to be in school and to be a good student and to challenge your teachers to recognize that to hold you accountable and challenge you and it's hard not to get kind of caught up in the apathy and to not be like disheartened when you see your peers just like taking advantage of a teacher's niceness or taking advantage of the fact that they don't have to work hard for anything to get the grades that they want and I think that you know I wish that there were more students like you I think I mean I think that's where you and I differ in education is that like we've had such a hard time with it but we've never given up on on the idea on the fact that it's a possibility that it's a real possibility it's not just a dream that stays in dreamland that we see people like with college degrees you know living out their lifelong dreams because you know they got right to it they worked for it and like that's something that I can totally admire when you know people not only educate themselves work for themselves but they give back to the community you know they say like I've been educated and it's not just for me at this point anymore like now I'm able to use this knowledge and pass it on and it's essentially it's sharing the wealth share the joy and I feel like that's important to me and that's what that's another reason what drives me like I'm doing this for me now but I know in the near future it I'll be able to help somebody else out fulfill their dream. Yeah, for me too, like, I feel like I have to be working in something, like, after I graduate where I'm, like, working with students who don't have a lot of role models, like, that have been through college just because, like, I wouldn't have ever seen myself in college if I hadn't have met, like, adults who had gotten degrees and things that I thought were interesting like, I just had this general concept of college, but I didn't, like, know the specialty programs that there were. I didn't know that people could, you know, study about resistance movements. I didn't know that people could, like, study about the rhetoric of persuasion and, like, study about how people argue and debate. Like, I, all these things that, like, I learned through those adults at Voices who, like, had all these different degrees. Like, I could finally, like, see myself in their shoes. You know, here are these, like, hip, smart, sassy women. Here are these, like, you know, totally rad guys, like, that have learned all this stuff and are using their knowledge to give back to, like, young people. And I thought that for the first time, like, I really saw myself and people that I'd been through college.